Let's do these six computations involving a weighted Euclidean inner product. So we're considering the inner product space R squared with this weighted Euclidean inner product, 3 times the product of the first components plus 2 times the product of the second components. That's the inner product of U and V. We're going to let u equal this vector, and here's our vector v, here's our vector w, and our scalar k equals 5. So using all this information, we will compute these quantities. There are links in the description to my lessons introducing inner products and inner product spaces if you need to review, but let's begin with number 1. We're just computing the inner product of u with v. So the inner product here is this weighted Euclidean inner product. That means we need to multiply 3 by the product of the first components of u and v, negative 1 and 4, and then add 2 times the product of the second components of u and v, that's 1 and 2. So that's 3 times negative 1 times 4, which is negative 12, and 2 times 1 times 2, which is positive 4. So the inner product of u with v is negative 8. Moving on to number 2, we have a scalar k in the first slot, but we can just slide that out of the inner product. So we'll compute the inner product of v with w, and then multiply that by a factor of k. k, our scalar, is 5, so we take that scalar out, and then we compute the inner product of v with w based on the given weighted inner product here. So 3 times the product of the first components, that's 4 with 1 and then 2 times the product of the second components, that's 2 and 0. This ends up being 12 plus 0, so the final answer is 5 times 12, which is 60. Next, we'll compute the inner product of u plus v with w. To do this, we can split the inner product across this sum. So we'll compute the inner product of u with w, and then we'll add the inner product of v with w. That's sometimes called the additivity property of inner products, and it looks like this. So first we have that inner product of u and w, and then the inner product of v with w. So for the inner product of u with w, we just take 3 and multiply it by the product of their first components, negative 1 and 1, so you see that there. And then we add 2 times the product of their second components, so 2 times 1 times 0, seen there. Then to this we're adding the inner product of v with w, which is 3 times the product of their first components, so 3 times 4 times 1 plus 2 times the product of their second components, so 2 times 2 times 0. These two terms are just 0, this one is negative 3, and this one is positive 12. So the inner product is negative 3 plus 12, which is positive 9. That's the inner product of u plus v with w. Next, we're asked to compute the norm of the vector v. Recall that the norm of a vector in an inner product space is the square root of the inner product of the vector with itself. So that looks just like this, the square root of the inner product of v with itself. So we have 3 times the product of the first component of v with the first component of v, plus 2 times the product of the second component of v with the second component of v. 3 times 4 times 4 is 48, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so the norm is the square root of 56. We can take a 4 out of that and simplify this to 2 times the square root of 14. So the norm, or the length, of the vector v relative to this weighted inner product is 2 root 14. Next, the fifth computation is to find the distance between u and v. In an inner product space, the distance between two vectors is defined as the norm of the difference of the vectors, so the norm of u minus v. So that's the norm of u minus v, that's how distance is defined. We know that this is the square root of the inner product of u minus v with u minus v. Let's quickly compute u minus v. The first component is negative 1 minus 4, so negative 5, and the second component is 1 minus 2, so negative 1. Then we can proceed with taking the inner product of u minus v with itself. So we have the square root of, doing the inner product, it's 3 times the product of the first components, so 3 times negative 5 times negative 5, 
and then we add 2 times the product of the second components, so 2 times negative 1 times negative 1. This ends up being 75 plus 2 in the square root, so the square root of 77. That's the distance between u and v in this inner product space. Finally, the norm of kw. To do this, we can just take the scalar k outside of the norm, so it's just the magnitude of k times the norm of w. The magnitude of k, of course, is just 5, that was given to us, and then the norm of w is the square root of the inner product of w with itself. So we have 3 times the product of the first component of w with the first component of w, so 3 times 1 squared, and then 2 times that second component squared. So under the square root, we end up just having 3, so final answer is 5 root 3. That's the norm, or length of k times the vector w. So those are a few examples of computations in an inner product space. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about.